I want to start this video off by saying, if you're not into alternative sketching tools or the more affordable side of orchestral libraries, and you're only really interested in next-gen style offerings, this video might not be for you. For the rest of you, I hope you enjoy. What you're hearing is Amadeus Symphonic Orchestra from Sonic Scores. Sonic Scores is the company that offers the Overture Notation program, and this library is their first fully-fledged package. It's also really affordable. I'll be talking about its affordability and applications, and why I think it's a nifty little gem. But for now, let's have a listen to what you get in the box. There's a lot, so I'm going to try to keep it streamlined. We get ensemble strings, Then smaller string sections. And solo strings. Then we get Ensemble Brass. And Solo Brass. Then Ensemble Woodwinds. And Solo Woodwinds. And some percussion.
then idiophones, Then keys and a harp. a choir and soloist, and a nylon guitar and electric guitar. As you can hear, there are a ton of instruments presented in simple form that load easy and are easy to play. Everything is fairly basic and doesn't sport extensive deep sampling or things like legato, but that's not really the point of this library. If you've ever seen my video on Solid State Symphony from Indigenous Samples, well this is like the acoustic version of something like that. Its simplicity, flexibility and charm of sound is the key, and so is the affordability. 
When I first loaded up some patches and started playing, it immediately reminded me of when I first started using sample libraries. The first tracks I made were using Miroslav Philharmonic and Garretton Personal Orchestra, and I've never forgotten how those packages helped me to become familiar with orchestral sections. Fast forward to today and I still understand the importance of simple all-in-one packages when it comes to sketching, working on a laptop or just looking for a bit of inspiration. In this way I have to say Amadeus knocks it out of the park. Old school style sketching tools are something of a rarity now and it's hard to find an affordable package that has the polish that Amadeus has. Miroslav Philharmonic is priced a little too high, Garretton Personal Orchestra is affordable but sounds synthetic at times. Symphonic Orchestra is great, but the patches can become a mess to work with or just to have fun with. Amadeus, on the other hand, is a smaller package with low footprint key switchable patches that runs in the Free Contact player. And while some of its recordings are a little rough around the edges and not as polished as something like Symphonic Orchestra, every instrument and articulation is very playable. I can tell a lot of work went into programming and preparing these sounds to function the best they can because there are no bumpy dynamics or wonky sustains. Everything has been made to play smoothly. The patches also give you extra controls like CC and velocity volume response, velocity attack response, and other options to make the playing as smooth as possible. An example would be comparing it to a similar library, Chamber Orchestra 2. While I really do love Chamber Orchestra 2, and it has some sounds Amadeus doesn't, that library requires a lot of tweaking here and there and attentive playing to bring the best out of it. With Amadeus, you load up and go, and you can play soft, loud, or in between with ease. As a sketching tool, Amadeus is right up there. But if you're also starting out and you're looking for an orchestral package but can't afford things like Orchestral Essentials, The Orchestra or Albion for example, I highly recommend this. For the price, it contains well above the content supplied with most others. And it does sound great, especially the woodwinds. But I want to get to the heart of the matter here. I want to tell you why I personally have a soft spot for this library. I'm a huge fan of the Final Fantasy XII soundtrack. The opening and ending theme were live recordings. Everything in between though were samples. Samples that sounded realistic to the average listener but were still kind of giveaways to the trained ear. They were that middle ground between current next-gen game soundtracks and the synth orchestra driven older soundtracks. A kind of uncanny valley of samples if you will. When I play Amadeus, I get that Final Fantasy XII feeling all over again, and it really makes me inspired. Of course, these samples can definitely be used for convincing results when pairing them with other libraries,
but it's this charm of simplicity they have, which gives me that PS2 RPG era game sound. That's what really gets me. This library pulls it off perfectly. That's why I love Amadeus and would recommend it to anyone who's looking to capture that unique sound from the mid-era games. And if you thought that still wasn't enough, the library comes with these genius all-in-one patches with different presets and voice splitting, which can be tons of fun to play with. And that's what 150 bucks gets you. This is a fantastically well presented orchestral collection with a wonderful sounding selection of woodwind longs and shorts, a neat little taiko section, clean sounding brass, a nice piano, a gamey guitar, and a bunch of others that takes 150 bucks further than I've ever seen. And I'm seriously considering making a bunch of RPG cues and themes using this library almost exclusively to put in my free royalty free songs folder. Top stuff. And that's that. I'll see you next time with another library. Check you later.